Morning guys. Good morning. We are uh, going to do a damper this morning and we thought we'd make a little video on how we like to make our damper. Uh, obviously everyone knows what a damper is and probably everyone's made one but we just thought we'd share our little recipe which is pretty much the same as everybody else's but uh, we have a couple of secret ingredients which we throw in and we really enjoy our dampers when we're out camping something to, uh, something to do obviously rather than sitting around drinking so anyway we'll get started and uh, see how we go do you want to grab the yep. flour honey <laughs> all right so we're going to use roughly two cups of self-raising flour I'll just sort of guess it don't really measure it out I reckon two cups is probably at least a third of this jar. Obviously, a bit more. Just it's not really uh, that important to get the um, quantities exactly right. If you add too much flour, you just add a bit more water and so on. Babes, keep us the um, sultanas. Throw a few sultanas in. And do you want to break that egg and just yep. mix it up? So we're going to throw an egg in our damper. Some might say it makes it more like a cake, but uh, we enjoy it. So one of the tricks with the uh, making a damper is you don't want to work the dough too much. You want to mix it as opposed to actually kneading it. So we'll get our egg in there, spread it around. And then some salt. If you haven't seen these before, these are the uh, Navigator Kitchen Buddies. They're really kind of cool. You can put all your utensils in there and all that sort of stuff. Paper towel down here. I love it. Put our cling wrap and things in there. And as you can see, you just take it outside with you. You've got all your bits and pieces there. You can put it in the car. So all I'm doing is just working this around. Now we've got our fire going because obviously you're going to need a lot of uh, hot coals. So that's going down there and we'll be almost ready for us once we've done this. Dusty's looking after it. Dusty's <laughs> looking after it. Dusty's our son, for those of you who don't know, he's eight, uh, 19 months old. So I'm adding some water. You just slowly add your water to that mixture and, and work it around. And you'll see it starts to sort of clump together, which is good. Now, the other se secret is, so our two secret ingredients, one is an egg and the other is a bit of beer. Open that up, and we use Kosciuszko's finest pale ale, my favourite at the moment. So we'll just add a little bit of that, and a bit for the chef. Is it a beer clock? Hey. Is it a beer clock? Not quite. If you haven't seen these, our new off-grid travelling uh, beer coolers, and probably noticed the jumper, and the wife's got a shirt as well. So we're getting into all the merch and all that sort of stuff. We don't sell it yet, but you know, if you really want something, feel free to send us a message. So it's really clumping up now. We're getting close, we'll add some more water to that. But we want to get it to the point where we can just create a little ball out of it. Now if you go too far with the water, you can always add in a little bit of uh, flour just to dry it out again. And I'm getting to that point now where I'm going to take it out of the bowl. Can I have the flour again honey please? Sure. So I'm just going to throw a bit down here on my bench area. on the hands. It is looking good. 
isn't it? Mm. Okay. So you can see it's sort of holding itself together. Probably just work it around a bit on this flower. Yeah, this is going to be good. Yep, so once we put it into our camp oven, we use a, uh, a trivet, which is a little metal thing that sits in the bottom of the camp oven, a bit of um, foil over the top, tuck a little bit of flour on there. Let's continue on with this, Give just a little bit more flour to hold its form. Holding its shape. It's moving, that was good. No, it's probably a bit soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's. A little bit more flour. A little bit more flour. Yeah. We have our camp oven. This is a nine quarts camp oven. Nice big one. That just goes in to the center. And lid goes on. Now we take it over and put it on the coals. check it once along the way and make sure it's going and cooking nicely and we'll see where we go all right guys it's the moment of truth let's have a look it smells good I can smell it that's a good sign Look at that, huh? Wow. That's what I call a damper. And if we give it a bit of a knock, it should sound hollow inside, which it does. Nice and crusty on the outside. 
we're ready to go. Time for some jam and butter. Sorry, sorry, I mean it's definitely going to scar. I don't know if I wanted to, I don't want to. Look at that, beautiful. That's what it gets for trespassing and trying to steal marble things from the bamboo area. Let's have a try, eh? Wait, do you still have a marble in the bag? Uh, yeah, I do actually. It's in my, it's in my bag. No, what are you doing? Yeah, I've got two pieces, so if you want to keep one of them, just do. Yeah, I had a little piece I was going to keep for myself. Yeah. Wyvern gets first, right? Ow! Sorry? Yeah, Wyvern gets do first. The wyvern gets first. First try, you reckon? Yep. You're really uneven, Pete. Delicious. Yeah, try. Mm. Mm. So nice and so bad. So perfect. fluffy. Mm. Fantastic. That's called kids. <laughs>